Welcome to the San Antonio Zoo and Aquarium, one of my top 10 zoos to visit in the USA. Let's go take a look. San Antonio is a great city to visit, especially in the winter, when the sunny weather offers a nice break from the winters up north. Planning a day at the zoo is a great way to have fun soaking up some of that sun. The Richard Friedrich Aquarium was opened in 1948. The San Antonio Zoo has done a great job of preserving the old building's charm, and also putting on display many fish that would be of interest to aquarium hobbyists. My favorite tank combines a large alligator snapping turtle with the only cichlid native to the USA, the Texas cichlid, which can be found in the rivers near San Antonio. Seeing full-grown Asian arowanas like these is always a treat. This species is a CITES protected endangered species and it is difficult to get a permit to keep them as a pet. San Antonio Zoo has a well-deserved reputation for promoting the conservation of endangered species. These cichlids are all from Madagascar and are some of the most threatened species in the aquarium hobby today. Not every tank in the aquarium is dedicated to fish. This display holds a very cool tropical water snake. One of the big aquariums in the building contains large Amazon fish like this Leopoldi stingray and some huge silver arowanas. What is in that one's mouth? This is a male arowana holding eggs. Arowanas are paternal mouth brooders and they've spawned in this aquarium. Let's take a look at some of the other marine, freshwater and brackish displays in the aquarium. What have we here? Celestial pearl danios in a zoo? You really have to appreciate that an institution like this would make a display of such a small aquarium fish. Let's end the tour of the Richard Friedrich Aquarium with a look at the blind cave tetras. On the next episode of this series, we will go to Africa Live. <laughs>